Uh, my name is uh, Pascal. I'm a Christian. I know that Islam and Christianity agree with each other 95%. They differ only with regard to the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. If such is the case, I would like to know what made our brother Yusuf to embrace Islam, living Christianity. I am very keen to know about this fact. Thank you very much for your question. Uh, the questioner would like to know what caused uh, Sheikh Yusuf Estes to become a Muslim after being raised upon Christianity. That's a good one. Actually, this is a question we get a lot. Why did you leave Jesus? Why did you turn your back on the Bible? Why have you run away from God? Why have you gone to the terrorists? How come you're with those guys? Ah! I heard this many times. Many times. Or the simple question, why did you go to Islam? Or how you got to Islam? That comes even from the Muslims. The reality of it, in my particular case, and I'm not telling you about anybody else, I'll just tell you about myself, I was not looking for a new religion. I was very much committed to preaching Christianity. I love Jesus. I loved him an awful lot. When I got to Islam, I found out how to love him even more because now I know what I'm supposed to say when I say his name. Jesus, alayhi salam, peace be upon him. I also didn't turn my back on the Bible. I spent the next two and a half years sitting with the Bible in Greek, Hebrew, and English in front of me Quran on the other side, only English in the beginning, later learning the Arabic and comparing and comparing and comparing until finally one day, one of the Imams, spiritual leaders for Muslims, he came to me and he said, Sheikh, you are spending all your time with the Bible and comparing and going over everything. Do you know if you spent this much time studying the tafsir of Quran, you'd be an alim? I said, I didn't think of that. But I did spend a few more years just polishing off my work so I could be sure. And I tell you, without any doubt, and if you want the proof, just let me know. We'll bring it to you by the stack. But if you don't want the proof, don't ask. The proof is clear from the Jewish scholars in all of their publications. And I can name you many, many books from them. And now from the Christian scholars, the same stating unequivocally that they no longer have even a copy. Now watch this. This is the latest one. It came out last month. Misquoting Jesus came out in November. Well, month before last. Came out in November. He said we do not have even a copy of 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 anything original from the Bible. This was... Bart Aram, and he is one of the biggest scholars for the Christian religion, used to be in the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago, and he used to say, just like me, Bible is the absolute word of God, it has no mistake, it's this, it's that, until you examine the real manuscripts and learn what it's really about, and then you go, whoops, somebody been lying to me. But then, when you go to the Quran, in the Arabic language, the authentic book that's still never been changed in 1400 years. And read it in Arabic language and understand the meaning of it and you say, Allahu Akbar. Because why? Because when I got through with all of this study, by the way, I had to be reintroduced to my wife and my children. They hardly knew me anymore because I spent all this time. But when I got through, I can honestly and tell you Every single one, Christian, Jew, and Muslim here today, there is no difference in the teachings of these three great religions. There is nothing contradictory in the Bible and the Quran except where the Bible contradicts itself. What I'm telling you is I wanted to be closer to Jesus. I wanted to be closer to God. I wanted to be closer to salvation, and that was my prayer day after day after day. And why was Allah guiding me to meet a Muslim? I thought God wanted me to convert him. And I tried my best until he said these key words. I want you to go to the website and read all of this because it's far too much to tell you tonight. Go to yusufestis.com. You'll find the whole story. Y-U-S-U-F-E-S-T-I-S 
S-U-F-E-S-T-E-S dot -E com. Go see the whole story, but I'll tell you what he said. He said, after I give him three months worth of Christian Dawa, he said, I will go to your religion if it's better than my religion. I'm going, hey, I got him. Why? Well, I now knew about Islam a little bit. Christianity, you don't have to pray five times a day. You don't have to fast the month of Ramadan. You don't have to pray something called Zakat. You don't have to go to the Holy Land to do any pilgrimage. In fact, you don't even have to be nice if you don't want to. Just say, Jesus died for my sins. But then he said the rest of the sentence. I'll go to your religion if it's better than my religion, but you need proof. I said, what? Proof. Proof. Man, <laughs> religion's not about proof. Religion's about faith. He said, yes, in Islam, we have faith, but we have proof to back it up. Think about that. And then, without realizing what my own mouth was saying, I said, do you mean to sit there and tell me as a Muslim that you can prove there's God? Immediately, he responded back. Do you mean to sit there and tell me as a Christian preacher, you can't? Oops. I highly advise anybody who really wants to know the truth to stop worrying about television, newspapers, magazines, and statements from weird people regardless of what they claim their religion is. Just go read the Quran for yourself. See what it says. And then you pray to the one that created you and ask him. And if you're a Christian, ask. Ask the God that Jesus prayed to. Ask him to guide you to be closer to Jesus like I did and see what happens.